hello good day viewers in today's tutorial i'm going to show you a shortcut to perform integration by facts i have two problems with me here <clears throat> one thing you should remember is the formula but today we are not going to apply this formula but still we have uv which we want to decide you know this is a log function which we don't have inverse trig function we don't have any here but we have an algebraic function as x squared so we let our u to be equal to x squared and dv you set exponential x dx as our dv so what we are going to do we are going to form a table d for differentiation and i for integration sign you know the first term there is positive so we are going to set positive here the second term is negative we are going to set negative here positive negative u should be placed here which is x squared and dv should be placed here which is exponential x forget about dx for now so we are going to differentiate this column and integrate this column if you differentiate this you're going to obtain 2x if you further differentiate this second derivative you are going to obtain 2 and third derivative which is the derivative of a constant is 0 then we integrate this which is the same thing as exponential x you further integrate you get exponential x and lastly exponential x so finally this will be equal to positive sign x squared you multiply them together times this exponential x so the first term is going to be x squared exponential x the second term is going to be negative 2x multiplied by exponential x negative 2x multiplied by exponential x positive 2 times exponential x positive 2 times exponential x and lastly we have 0 times anything is going to be 0 so we have our plus constant of integration so this is exactly equal to the integration of this function with respect to x there are three things you need to know before performing this method the first one is that once you reach 0 while differentiating your function you stop and once the product of your row can be integrated you stop and once you have equal function on the same row you stop so first you have 2x here and you have 2x here then you stop you take the product of that row then finally you take the integral of that so now let us look on to the second one to decide which one is u you know algebraic function come first so we set our u to be equal to x squared and dv equal to sine of 3x so this one remains the same so we are going to change this the differentiation remains the same so we are going to integrate this if you integrate sine 3x you are going to get 1 over 3 negative cos of 3x if you further integrate this remember this is constant so we have negative 1 over 3 if you integrate this you are going to get 1 over 3 sine 3x and this will be negative 1 over 9 sine 3x so this become negative 1 over 9 sine uh, 3x if you further integrate this minus will cancel minus you have 1 over 9 times 1 over 3 times cos 3x 3x this will be positive 1 over 27 because 9 times 3 is 27 then cos 3x so now we have finished integrating this finally 
this will be equal to this times this, which is positive x squared times negative 1 over 3x squared, which is going to be negative x squared over 3 times cos 3x. Second one is negative this times negative this. Negative, negative is going to make it positive. Then 2x times this is going to be 2x all over 9 times sine of 3x. Then lastly, we have positive 2 times this, which is going to be plus 2 over 27 cos of 3x. This is exactly how to perform integration by part using this shortcut. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content.